Hello, good morning. Good morning, Shri. Good morning, Kadina. Good morning, Jorisa. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Happy June. Time flies, right? It's already June. Oh my God. Good morning. Good morning, JP. Hi, Gus. Good morning. Good morning, Fong. Hi, Phyllis. Good to see all of you. All right, let's um, wait a while for everyone to join us. Welcome to Yin Yang class. Let me just do a little bit of the setting. Yes, this pump to you back. <laughs> Good morning. Right. Happy Monday. How's everyone doing this morning? Hi, hi Hui. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Yin Yang class. Okay, as some of you have already known, especially the pure members, so um, you do know that now you have a wide variety of choices. You can actually go to pure class. So a good number of classes that are free to members. So unfortunately, if you're not pure members, you can only join the IG live stream. So for now, for the IG live stream, we have two classes a day. All right, I'm still going to take on Yin Yang class. So it's 9.30 for Monday, and I'm still going to take on my Vinyasa one practice on Saturday as well. You won't find me on Zoom as yet, but then um, if you like more classes with me, just message me and let me know because um, we actually do have some of our own personal classes running. All right. So good morning, Juliana. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Yin Yang class. Okay. Good morning. Hi, King Ling. Welcome, welcome. All right, just to explain Yin Yang class, if this is the first time that you are joining me today. So for Yin Yang class, we will focus on the Yang part for the first set, first half of the class. Subsequently, we'll go on to the Yin part. So for the Yang part, what does that mean? Yang, so it means a little bit more of an energizing practice. So we focus on active poses. Um, for my Yang part, usually I'll flow through a few um, sun salutations. Hello, Miriam. Good to have you joining me today. <laughs> Good morning. All right, I was just explaining the young part. All right, so for the young part, um, expect more active poses, and then for the yin part, it is basically like a yin class. So the half, uh, the later half of the class, we will focus on holding the poses. All right, so holding the poses, expect about maybe three to five or even eight minutes. So basically, is to allow you know um, time and gravity to help to kind of open up the body. All right. So welcome to Yin Yang class. My name is Jeannie. I'm here to guide you through the practice this morning. So for the Yang part, remember any point in time, if you need a break at any yoga class, all right? If you need a break, you can always find a child's pose, sit down, lie down. So listen to the body working with the body, all right? Good morning, Mei Yun. Good morning, all right. So today, um, the Yin part will focus a little bit more on shoulders, okay? So those who are feeling a little bit tight, okay, like, like um, you know, maybe if you have joined some of the gym classes, you feel a little bit tight in the shoulders, less work to open up those areas, okay? All right, um, are you guys ready? Can you kind of hear me and see me loud and clear? I won't um, off the comments because sometimes you guys like to ask questions. So I'm, I'll just, I'm just going to leave it open. But any point in time, if you feel that this thread of like the comments are kind of blocking your, your view, you can actually press onto my title, the yin yang with genie, and just pull it down. All right. So the idea is kind of you can shorten that thread. You can still see my mat. Okay. Are you guys ready? If you are ready, give me a thumbs up. Yes. Ready for our practice this morning to start the day. Just a show of a thumbs up if you are ready and then we can start. Just make sure that you guys can hear me and see me loud and clear first. Thank you, JP. Thanks, Gus. Okay, let's come to your mat. Find a comfortable seat. comfortable sitting position that you like. You can sit cross-legged in Sukhasana. But for me, some of you know, I'm still trying to work with my body, so I'm going to sit in Vajrasana. Okay, so if you're sitting in Vajrasana, sit the hips to the heels. If you're sitting in Sukhasana, just cross-legged and gently allow the knees to fall down to the mat. Place your hands on top of your knees or your thighs in whichever sitting position you're in and gently close your eyes. Let's find a moment of stillness on the mat before we begin.
Drawing your focus to your breath. Start to pay attention to your breathing. Notice how you're breathing right now. Nothing to change. Just allow your breath to be. Observing and noticing your breath. Breathing in and out through the nose. Noticing the sound of your breath. Maybe the warmness of your breath. And see now whether you can slow it down slightly. Slowing down the breath. Deepening and lengthening your breath. Keeping your eyes closed, see where you can visualize your breath and follow it into the body. Breathing into any areas of tension or tightness. Softening those areas. Start to work with opening the body with the breath, creating space with it. As you work inwards further, clearing the mind. Mentally prepare yourself for your practice. Last week, patience and compassion. I'd like you to take on to this theme of acceptance and healing. Perhaps if you like it, you can start to set an intention in line with that. Think about how you can work towards acceptance or healing. Or if you find it hard, you can always relate it to the last week's theme passion and patience. It can be for yourself or somebody else. Setting intention in line with that. And keeping to that for the practice. Keeping your eyes closed, join the palms together, thumbs are heart center. Still staying on to the breath, holding on to this intention. Allow the intention to guide you through this class. Bring your thumbs to the eyebrow center and gently bow forward. Blink your eyes open. Namaste everyone. Enjoy your practice. Now let's come to a tabletop position. Find your all-fours. Spreading the fingers out wide. Now stack the shoulders directly on top of the wrists. Hips on top of the knees. Knees and feet hip distance apart. We'll begin to warm up the spine with our cat-cow breathing. As we inhale, belly down, tailbone up, chin up, gaze up to the ceiling, arching the spine into your cow pose. Exhale to scoop the sit bone under. Draw the belly in, ground into the back, protract the shoulders, push into the palms, cat pose. Inhale, melt the heart. Drawing the shoulders away from the ears, tailbone points up, gazing up, arching the spine. Exhale, tuck the chin to the chest, draw the belly in, ground the back, press into the palms, cat pose. Three more times, working with the breath, moving along with the body. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round the back. Expelling out all the still air, draw the navel into the spine, press, protract the shoulders more. Two more, inhale. Exhale. One more breath, inhale, melting the heart. Belly down, look up, gaze up. Exhale, belly in, push into the palms, rounding the back, spread the back. Back to the neutral spine. Now tuck the toes, float the knees and press back to your first downward facing dog. Now first down dog, hips up, heels down. So you can pad out the feet, hold it here. Stretching out the back, moving up the body. Now keep the fingers spread out wide to push the top of the mat away from you. Stretch on the back as you set the sit bone up higher. Belly closer to the thighs. Now notice how the hamstrings are feeling this morning. If they are tight, keeping the knees soft. 
Otherwise, you can straighten it. Stretching the back here, stretching the spine, stretching the hamstrings. Hold it here. Now finding stillness in your downward facing dog. Keep the feet hip distance apart. Ground the heels down, push. Hip, hips up high, one more deep breath. Now heels up high, heel. Drop the heels to the right as you exhale. Bend the knees, bring the belly to the thighs. Stretch out the left side body. Continue to push into the left palm further. Sending the hips up higher. One more deep breath. Back to the center. Heels up high, heel. Drop the heels to the left. Now bend the knees, belly to the thigh. Stretch on the right side this time. Push in the right hand. Opening up the right side of the body. One more deep breath. Back to the center. Heels up high, heel. Bend both knees, belly to the thighs. Keep pushing the top of the mat away. Hold it here. Now look forward, plank, inhale, shift the weight forward. Now strong core, belly tight, hips in line with the shoulders. Squeezing the kneecap nice and tight, pushing the palms, protract the shoulders like cat spine. Hold it here, one breath, heel. Now drop the heels to the right as you exhale. Stay pushing the mat away from you, hips up higher. Back to the center and heel. Drop the heels to the left. Exhale. Push into the mat. Hips up high. Hold it. Strong core. Belly tight. Back to the center and heel. Now lower your knees. Chest. Chin down. Eight point pose. Exhale. Untie the toes. Glide forward to your full cobra. Straighten the arms. Now full cobra. Give the front a good stretch. Press into the palms. Chest forward. Roll the shoulders back. Gaze up. Arching the spine. Tap the toes, exhale, press back, down with facing dog. Keep your feet in the sense apart. Hold it here, push into the mat. Heels up high, heel, bend the knees, exhale, belly to the thighs. Stay pushing the top of the mat away from you. Belly closer to the thighs, maybe forehead down to touch the mat. Look forward, plank, inhale, shift the weight forward, stack shoulders on top of the wrists. Now drop the heels to the right side, push into the palms, stay here. We go for 20 rounds, Kapalabhati, begin. Five, four, three, two, exhale. Back to center and heel, drop the heels to the left. 20 rounds, Kapalabhati, begin.
back to the center. Now straighten both arms up. This time bend the left elbow. Place the palms between the shoulder blades. Now use right hand to pull it down a bit more. Now push it back. Look forward. Inhale and lean to the right. Push your hips over to the left. Feel the rest left side body stretch all the way from the left elbow towards the left heel. Lift the chest. Try not to collapse. One more deep breath. Start to feel the shoulders open. Now back to the center. Stretch both arms up. Now one more time, bend the right elbow, place the palms between the shoulder blades. Now you can continue to use the left hand to grab the right elbow or stretch the left hand out to the left. Turn the thumbs to face down, the thumbs facing down, palms facing back. Then reach back, go mukhasana the arms. Go mukhasana, see you can grab the fingers. If you need a small tower, go ahead. Otherwise, just continue to hold to the elbow. Now chest up, push your head back and heel, lean to the left, hips to the right. Side body open, go a little bit deeper. Hold it here, lean back a little bit more. Start to open the shoulders, stretch up right side. One more deep breath. Back to the center. Now stretch both arms up. The other side, bend the left elbow. Place it between the shoulder blades, pull it down. Stay here or stretch right hand up. Turn the palms back, thumbs facing down. Stay or reach back, grab. Now you can use a small towel if you need to, so if you can't grab the fingers. Otherwise, stay grabbing the elbows, push your head back into the left arm and lean towards the right side. Feel the right side, left side body stretch. All the way from the elbow, left elbow towards the left heel. Chest forward more. Lean to the right, one more deep breath, go deeper. Back to the center, now release hands down. Inhale to rise, arms up, palms touch, lean back, arch back, deep underneath the back bend. Hands in front of the chest, Samasiddhi, catching the breath. At the same time, time coming back to the intention that they've said earlier. And we start to flow. Inhale, reach arms up. Lean back, arch back into your back bend. Exhale, bow forward all the way down. Uttanasana, forward fold. Half lift, lengthen the spine heel. Exhale to fold. Step your right leg back. Lower the right knee down, low latch. Anjaniasana, stretch arms up and heel. Reach up, lean back. Open the chest, shining the heart, arms back more. One more deep breath, heel. Hands down, step back, down, foot facing dog, exhale. Plank, inhale. Now, option to hold your plank or if you feel strong, one chaturanga, exhale. Push up to your high plank, inhale. Exhale to your choice of vinyasa, chaturanga, on each chest chin. Inhale to your up dog or your cobra. Exhale to press back. Down, one knees and down. One deep breath in. Full breath out. Feet together, heels up high, right leg stretch up, three legged dog. Hold the right toes up, stretch it up high, heel. Lean to the nose, exhale, shift the weight forward to touch and hold three, two. One step right foot forward, left knee down, low lunge. Arch of your snow, stretch your arms up and heel, reach up, heel back. Open the chest, arm stretch back, chest up. One breath and heel. Hands down, step the left leg forward, forward fold, Uttanasana. Exhale. Inhale to standing, rise, palms touch, lean back, arch back into your back bend. Exhale, bow forward all the way down, Uttanasana, forward fold. Half lift, lengthen the spine, heel. Exhale to fold, step your left leg back, lower the left knee down, <coughs> no lunge. Arch, Janyasana, stretch your arms up. Stay here. So you can deepen this pose, bend the right knee more. Sit hips more and down, stretch your arms up and back, gaze up. One more breath, kneel. Hands down, step the right leg back, down, with facing dog, exhale. Plank, inhale. If you feel strong, one chaturanga, exhale. Push up to your high plank, inhale. Exhale to your chores of vinyasa, chaturanga, only shashin. Inhale to your up dog or your cobra. Tuck the toes, exhale, press back, down, with face down. One deep breath in, full breath out. Feet together, heels up high, left leg stretch up, three leg up. Hold Point the left toes up, split the legs apart. Reach up higher, walk breath, heel. Knee to the nose, exhale, shift the weight forward, touch and hold, three, two, one step, left foot forward, right knee down, low lunge. Arch and stretch your arms up and heel, reach up, lean back. 
Bend the left knee, sit hips forward and down bow. Stretch arms up and back. Lean back. One more breath. Here. Hands down. Step the right foot forward. Forward fold. Uttanasana. Exhale. Inhale the standing. Rise. Palm stretch. Lean back. Arch back. Exhale. Bow forward all the way down. Uttanasana. Forward fold. Half lift. Lengthen the spine. Heel. Exhale. Look forward. Step right leg back. Left leg back. Plank pose. Stay in plank. Point if you feel strong. Again. Chaturanga. Exhale. Push up to high plank. Heel. Now exhale to Chaturanga. Only stretch it. Inhale to your up dog or cobra. Now pause here or back to Chaturanga. On each chest chin with the exhale. Push up your high plank and heel. Press back. Down with the facing dog. Exhale. Take one deep breath in. Full breath up. Feet together. Heels up high. Radic stretch up. Three leg dog. Point the right toes up to the ceiling. Reach up high and heel. Now knee to the right elbow, exhale, shift the weight forward to touch. Inhale, kick the right leg up, three leg it up. Knee to the nose, exhale to touch. Inhale to kick the right leg up, three leg it up. Knee to the left elbow, touch and hold so you can draw it up higher towards left tricep. Then straighten the right leg up to the left. Spin the inner left foot down, reverse side plank or fallen triangle. Push down, hips up. Trade them both legs. Then sweep the left by step by the Arching to the back, bend in the back, the front is more open now. You can look up to the ceiling, lean back. One more deep breath, heel. Left hand down, kick the right leg up. Bend right knee, open the hips as exhale. Left heel up, high heel. Knee to the nose, exhale. Now touch and hold, if you like, three legged chaturanga. Straighten the right leg back, bend the elbows, look forward and heel. Knee to the nose, exhale to touch and hold for three, two, one step, right foot forward, crescent lunge. Inhale to rise, bend the right knee, sit hips down low. Now try to draw the ribcage in, try not to overarch. Scoop the tailbone under, square the hips, right hip forward, right hip back, left hip forward. Arms up high, reach up, inhale, now lean back, exhale. Opening into your back bend. Back leg short. Back heel up high, push left thigh up to the ceiling. One more deep breath, inhale. Open up to your warrior two as exhale. Spin the left heel down, split the arms apart. Bend the right knee, sit the hips down low. Now look towards the right hand, lean forward with the right palm in here, reverse warrior, exhale. Left hand to the back leg, sit right bicep by the ear, lean back, arch back, stretch back further. One more deep breath. Back to the center, warrior two. Inhale, support inside angle, exhale. Bend right elbow onto right thigh, sweep the left bicep by the ear. Lean back, arch back. Hold it here. Now back to warrior two, inhale. This time stay in warrior two and stretch right hand up to the sling. Now same thing like we did on our warm up just now. Bend right elbow, left hand grab the right elbow, push the palms down. Option is stay here or go cousin in the arms, you can reach back and grab the right fingers. If this is challenging for you, just stay grabbing the right elbow. Lean back into your reverse warrior again. Hold it here. Stretch back more. One more deep breath. Back to the center. Warrior two. Now stretch left and up this time. Place left palm between the shoulder blades. Now see, you can hook behind the gong kasana arms. If this is challenging, now just try to pull the right hand up higher. You can come into just a half bind, keep stretching the left hand up and lean forward. So you can put the right elbow inside the right thigh. Now this is challenging for you, just release the top arm. So just the back, the right hand in Gom Kasana arms. You can sweep the left bicep by the ear, up to you. You can go deeper, lean back more, try not to collapse in the right leg. Hold it for one more deep breath. Release back to the center, warrior two. Now straighten the right leg. Walk the left foot in one step. Lean forward towards the right hand. Now right hand down, left hand reach up. Three canasana. Try the pose. You can place the right hands on the shin. Or fingertips down, you can go deeper. But keep stretching left hand up to the ceiling. Try not to collapse. Squeeze the kneecap tight. Scoop the right sit bone under. Hold it here. One more deep breath, heel. 
As you exhale, left hand on the left hip. Now look down towards the right foot. Crawl the right into the forward and find your half moon pose. If this is challenging for you, if you can't straighten the right leg, you can always use a block and place it underneath the right hand. Use blocks to help you as extension. Now straighten the right leg and lift the left leg up. Keep the left hip open. Once already, extend the left hand up to the ceiling. Find your half moon pose. Option to stay here or chupasana. So for chupasana, bend the left knee, reach back, grab the ankle and kick. Heel away from the bum. Can go deeper, look up to the ceiling. For last three, two, one. Gently release your half moon pose. Now soften the right knee, step back, warrior two. Bend the right knee, sit them down low, look forward. When you the hands down, kick the right leg up to your three legged dog. Now option to just step back to down dog, or flow two or three little vinyasa, shift the weight forward, the heel. Bend the elbows, keep the right leg up. Inhale to rise up. Tuck the toes, press back, down with base heel. Reset, deep breath in. Full breath up. Feet together, heels up high, soften the knees, look forward, step the right foot forward, left foot forward. Half lift, lengthen the spine, heel, exhale to fold. Inhale the standing, rise, palm stretch, lean back, arch back. Exhale, bow forward all the way down, Uttanasana, forward fold. Half lift, lengthen the spine, heel, exhale to fold. Now step your left leg back, right leg back, plank pose. If you feel strong, one chaturanga, exhale. Now push up your high plank heel. Everyone, Chaturanga or Nisheshin, exhale. Inhale to your up double cobra. You can stay here or back to Chaturanga or Nisheshin, exhale. Push up the high plank heel. Press back to your down one piece and down, exhale. One breath in, full breath up. Feet together, heels up high, left leg stretch up, three legged dog, point the left toes up high. Now reach up and heel. Knee to the left elbow, exhale, shift the weight forward to touch. Inhale, kick the left leg up, three legged dog. Knee to the nose, exhale to touch. Inhale, kick the left leg up, three legged dog. Knee to the right elbow, touch and hold. Now see if you can pull it up higher, then straighten the left leg up towards the right side. Spin the inner right foot down, reverse side plank. Fall in triangle, push down, stretch the right hand up. Then sweep the right bicep by the ear. So you can shine the right side of the body up to the ceiling. Lean back or arching to your back bend. One more breath in heel. Right hand down as exhale. Keep the left leg up, bend the left knee, open hips, exhale. Right heel up high and heel. Knee to the nose as exhale. You can stay here or to lead the chandranga. Straight and left leg back and heel, look forward. Knee to the nose, touch and hold. Three, two, one. Crescent lunge. Step left foot lightly between the hands. Slowly rise up. Now square the hips to the front. Draw the front of the right hip forward. Pull the left hip back. Again, scoop the sit bone under. Half the rib cage in like you're wearing a corset. Stretch arms up and heel. Now lean back, exhale. Think of squeezing the shoulder base. Keep hugging the chest up. Like there's a pull from the chest up to the ceiling. So you do not collapse and dump all the way into the lower back. Arms up and back. Look up, lean back. One more breath, heel. Open up, warrior two, exhale. Spread the arms apart. Bend the left knee, look towards the left fingertips. That's a your your focus palm. Lean forward, flip the left palm in here, reverse warrior, exhale. Right hand to the back leg, sweep the left bicep by the ear, stretch the left hand back. Feel the left side body stretch further. One more deep breath here. Back to warrior two and heel. Supported side angle. Exhale. Bend left elbow on top, left thigh. Sweep the right bicep on here. Roll and spin the right shoulder back more. Hold it here. Back to your warrior two. As you inhale. Now stay here. Sit hips down low. Stretch your left hand up. Now bend the left elbow, right hand, pull the left elbow, slide your left palm down the shoulder blade. You can stay here or reach the right hand back. Find the Gomukhasana arms. You can interlace the fingers. If not, just stay grabbing onto the left elbow and lean towards the back. Feel the stretch. Left elbow all the way to the left side of the hips. Bend the left knee. Stretch back further. Go back deeper. One more deep breath. 
Back to the center, release the arms. Right hand stretch up this time, bend the right elbow, palms between the shoulder blades, pull it down. Now see so you can find your Gomukhasana arms. If not, just light the left palm high up between the shoulder blades. If this is challenging for you to cook, you know what to do, you can straighten the right hand up. Right, it's like a chicken wing. So you hook the left elbow just inside the left eye and this is really important. So it's a side angle pose, adding on to a shoulder stretch, pushing it into the elbow. Hold it. One more deep breath. Back to your warrior two. Straighten the left leg. Now walk the right foot in one step. Shorten the stance, both legs straight. Lean towards the left leg and heel. Trikonasana. Hips back as you stretch, walking up. Exhale. Lower the left hand down. Stretch, walking up. Lifting the left side of the body away from the left leg. Squeeze left knee, keep nice and tight. Sweep the right arm, step out here, using this momentum to lean back. Hold it here. One more deep breath. Right hand on the right hip. Now look down, soften the left knee, find the half moon pose. If you need to come up higher, use a block. So the blocks are extension of your arms. Place it underneath the left palm. Straighten the left leg. Right hand, peel the right hip open. Once you're ready, stretch your right hand up. So you can lift the right leg higher up, palm on pose. Now option to stay here or chapasana. You can bend the right knee, grab the right foot and kick. Heel away from the bum. So go as deep as you can or notice how the body is feeling. For me, I'm trying to take it easy. So I'm just going to kick like this. Do what you can. One last deep breath here. Gently release your half moon pose. Then soften the left knee, step back, warrior two. Spread the feet apart one more time. Bend the left knee, look towards the left hand, twist your your focus. Windmill the hands down, kick the left leg up to even it up. Now you can simply step back to down dog if you're tired or flow two or three eagle leg of yasa. Try to challenge yourself today if you can. Shift the weight forward, inhale, bend the elbows, exhale. Inhale to your up dog, cobra. And then kick back. Step the left foot down, down, with the facing dog, exhale. Deep breath in, full breath out. Feet together, heels up high, soften the knees, step left foot forward, right foot forward. Half lift, lengthen the spine, heel, exhale to fall. Inhale to stand, rise, palm stretch, lean back, arch back into your back bend. Last round, exhale, bow forward, all the way down, forward fold. Half lift, lengthen the spine, heel, exhale the fold. Now step or hop back, flow through your last vinyasa if you like. Chaturanga, only shashin. Inhale to your upper or cobra, you can stay here if you wish to add all the spice. Back to your reverse vinyasa, chaturanga, only shashin. Push up high plank, heel, press back, down with facing down. Exhale, one breath in, full breath out. Now lower your knees down, sit on the Bhadrasana, sit the hips back to the heels. Alright, that completes our yang part, let's proceed to the yin part now. So I'm going to turn to face towards you so you kind of know what I'm doing. So as you sit on Bhadrasana, catch your breath first while I explain this pose to you. We're going to hold this pose for 3 minutes, alright? So, sit the bum down to the mat. I wanted to shake them both legs first, if you like, can bend the knee, shake it out, do what you like. Slowing down the heart rate, slowing down, catch your breath again. Now, I want you to bend the right knee, alright? Step the right foot, just beside the left knee. Left hand can place behind you if you need the support. Now lean back slightly and stretch your right hand out towards the right side. Palms facing back, thumbs facing down. Then bend the right elbow. I want you to place the back of the palms just behind the back here, alright? Just behind the back. Like a chicken wing up, alright? Then open the right knee up to the side. So you can use the left hand. Now, so sit up slightly. If you need support, you can open the left leg up slightly wider. It's easier, alright? Otherwise, keep the left leg open. Left hand, grab the right elbow, pull it in. So you can tuck it inside the right knee, alright? So this might be a little bit challenging for some of us. If you can't, it's okay. Just open the right knee out a little bit more. Or just using the left hand to grab onto the right elbow, pull it forward. 
Once you get the hook, you can release the left hand again. Place it down if you need support and pull the right knee in. So using the right knee to push the elbow into a submit line. At the same time, you will find the right shoulder coming in more, but push it back. So this action and this action goes in opposite. So the right knee comes in, right shoulder goes back. All right, so push it in. So you should feel a lot of the part of the shoulders. Also stretching on the back all the way to the trapezius as well. All right. So see how you're feeling now and try to set it up. Okay, so I'll repeat again. Blend the right knee, right foot beside the left knee. You can keep a hip distance apart between the feet. Chicken wing the right arm. Left hand down, open the right knee up to the side, poke, and then bring it in. All right. If you can go deeper, you can always use the left hand to grab onto the right knee and pull it in, but roll the right shoulder back. All right. I've talked a lot, so I'm going to start counting down now, three minutes from now. I know some, some of you have already gone to this pose. More time, right? More time means you stretch it more. Start to open what's, oh, notice what's happening in the shoulders right now. And just relax the entire body. Yes, you want to use left hand to pull a little bit more. So we are engaging a little bit of a strength here. Usually for yin pose, we just allow, allow it to be. But for this pose, because we are just seated up here, it's better. I mean, if you wish to ask this yourself, you can pull a little bit. But try not to force. So like I, what, what I always say, try not to impose any force. Allow the body to start opening softly. Maybe just allow the left hand to be down, relax. Push the right knee in closer to the shoulder. If you find that the right thigh, the outer right thigh is kind of like sore, you can always sit up higher by placing a block just underneath the right bum. So that will help. But that also means to close the right knee a little bit more. So the right shoulder might feel it a little bit more. So modify as you need to. Remember for the yin part, we work to hold the pose, try not to fidget. The idea is slowly, by keeping yourself in this tension in this pose, the back of the shoulders, to be specific in this pose, will start to open up. And you can go a little bit deeper by bringing the right knee in and drawing the right shoulder back a little bit more. As you bring your focus to your breath, again, slowing it down, being a little bit mindful. Every time we bring the focus to the breath, it's always a good practice for our mindfulness. Stay in your pose. Now, just left with one minute to go. So see how we can deepen this pose. Just a little bit, again, no, not forcing it. See so if you can bring the right knee closer towards you and draw the right shoulder back a little bit more. So this sensation is the same as what we did just now in the standing part, um, where we did a extended the side angle pose in a warrior two, when you hook the elbow on the inner thighs and lean back, same sensation. But this time we are seated down, let me notice whether there's any difference. Slowly, gently softening the body to open up. Now last 30 seconds, so you can bring the running closer. Like you can use the left hand to assist and pull the right knee a little bit more, but again, not forcing you. Breathing to the body to create space, create space on the back of the shoulders, the back and see if you can open up a little bit more. 10 seconds ago.
one. If you're grabbing onto right knee, slowly release the left hand first. Then, press left palm down to the mat. Allow the right knee to fall out away from you. Bring the right shoulder back, I know. Slowly straighten right hand down. Now, if you'd like to shake it up, stretch your arms forward, legs forward, shake it out. Do what you need to. Now, before we go into the left side, notice the difference between the right and left, all right? See whether there's any difference. If there's no difference, maybe you're not doing the pose correctly, all right? But let's try the left side now. So bend the left knee, same thing. Now, step the left foot so just beside the right knee. Keep the feet hip distance apart, all right? Again, if you need support on the left bum, just know if you feel sore on the right side, you can always place a block or place a towel. Maybe you can just roll up the towel. Then sit the bum on top. I'm going to do this because some of you know I'm just, I just need to elevate this part. This part is a little bit sore, all right? Okay, so the same thing. Stretch left and up. Turn the left palm to face back, thumbs facing down. Then bend. Bend and place the back of the palms just on the lower back or just a higher up, sorry, higher up on around the waist region. Now, open the left knee up towards the left side. If you can't bring the left, left elbow in, use the right hand to pull it first. Don't force. If you can hook it, start to hook it and release the right hand down. If you can't hook it, just continue to grab onto the elbow and pull it in until it goes inside the left knee or maybe you can look, open the left knee out a bit more. Lean forward slightly, hook and then push it in. Again, same thing, left shoulder draw back, left knee in. If you need to, if you like to go a little bit deeper, you're not feeling anything in the holding here, you can use left hand to grab the left knee and pull it in, okay? So listen to the body, do what you can, let's set up for this side. And three minutes starts now. I know this can be a little bit painful for some of us especially guys who go to the gym right i know some of you are joining me today so the back is very tight shoulders are very tight as well so this can be quite painful so instead of um, i think one of the sessions in the yin yang class i talk about this instead of resisting the pain see how we can work with it eventually allow yourself Ironically, the same goes to be comfortable with the discomfort. And in line with our theme of today of acceptance, think how that works. So being comfortable with the discomfort, how can we work around, how can we work to that? A lot of times we need our mindset cultivating that sense of acceptance. So we can accept that it is okay to have discomfort, unpleasantness in your life, it becomes easier. I'm not saying that it's easy to do so, but it becomes easier. So it's like figuratively creating that space to allow the discomfort there. And once you stop resisting, you find yourself accepting. Think about that. So now, bring your focus to your shoulders. Notice how the shoulders are feeling now. So after some time, you feel that, hey, this pose is actually okay. It's not as intense as just now when I first got into the pose. Think about why that is so. That's the magic of time. Again, I'm, I draw you back. I'm bringing you back to, the, to our theme of today. We talk about acceptance and um, healing. Time is a natural healer for everything, if you think about it. So in the body, like I shared about my own injury, it's still recovering now. So think about that. For me, time has passed, the pain is not as intense. And um, also with cultivating acceptance, I learned to work with accepting the fact that I may need to sacrifice some of my activities. And now I'll need to work with time, allowing time to pass to allow myself to heal. So time is a natural healing, has a natural healing power effect. And with time, healing begins. But you need to accept and not force, not resist whatever discomfort that you are working with in the meanwhile. With all this chatting, left with one more minute to go. 
Now, again, start to bring your focus back to that shoulders. Maybe you are so drawn into my chit chattering, you forgot about that. If the shoulders are more open, see if you like to deepen the pose. But sometimes you can take it easy. So draw the left knee in a little bit more. Pull the left shoulder back a little bit more. Hold it here. Last 30 seconds. I'd like you to toe onto the pose. Well, I kind of just creep up to you and stay because I kind of see a string of comments. Okay, your elbow can't reach the inside of me. Sorry that I came too late, but it's okay. Like I mentioned, you can always wrap. Just wrap onto the elbow. There's no need to force because the intention of the pose is not to bring the elbow to the knee. The intention of this pose is just to stretch out the back. So you, as long as you're having a good stretch of the back of the shoulders by grabbing onto the elbow, you feel the stretch, you can stay there. All right, I hope you're doing that already. Last 10. Two, one. Now releasing is as important as getting into the pose. Slowly release right hand down first. Bring the left knee out if you are hooking the elbow inside. Straighten the left leg forward. Bring the left elbow back slowly. Straighten the arms out. Shake it out. Shake out the feet. Shake out the knees. Pat it out. How's everyone doing? Okay, feeling good? Now notice what's the difference now. Any difference? I hope you, you feel some difference. Now to counter stretch, just for a little bit while, reach your hands back, interlace the fingers behind you, straighten the arms back, and then maybe both back, chest forward. Maybe you can move the hands side to side, side to side. So stretch on the front because just now we round the back slightly. Okay. All right, let's proceed to the next one. Also a shoulder stretch. Okay, now I want you to um, think about, okay, think about go more the arms on the back like what we did earlier, but do not do it first. I'm going to show you. So I'm going to lie down. I'm going to face you so you can see what's happening, all right? So I'm going to lie down on my belly, okay? First, I will, I will stretch my left hand out over to the right side. Okay, so, so we did something similar in one of the yin yang class, but we're not going to do the same thing. I want you to crawl, left palm on the, on the floor, on the mat, crawl it towards the right side and bring the left arm parallel to the top of your mat. Then bring your chin down. I know again, we are stretching out the, the outside of the left shoulder. So if this is too challenging, you can always bring the left hand forward a little bit more. But try to walk it back and rest your chin on top of the left shoulder. All right? Now, stay here. You can stretch one hand forward. This is already a good stretch on the outer edge of the left shoulder. If you can go a little bit deeper, I'm going to show you the variation. Remember, go more the right hand behind you from the back. So bend the right elbow, slide the hands between the shoulder blades. So you're bringing it up high, all right? Then press the chin down towards the shoulder. Now, option, you can stay here. Feel the right outer, the, the right side of the shoulder stretch as well. Or, now, lift the left hand, bend the left elbow, reach the hands behind the head and interlace the fingers. You should feel a more intense stretch on the left shoulder and also the go cast in the arms but as you press right elbow down. Okay, let's set it up. I know this is a little bit more on the shoulders, but your shoulders might be more open now. All right, so again, place left hand to stretch out towards the right side, lie down the belly, chin on the left shoulder, reach the right hand back in the light for your go cast in the arms and the back slide it upwards. If you like to use a towel, you can grab the towel on the left hand and throw it back. All right, throw it back and see if you can grab with the right hand. Then chin press down and hold. Your three minutes begin now. This might be the last pose. So let's hold it here. Chin on the mat. Again, bringing your focus to your breath. Bring your focus to your shoulder. Now, I'd like you to bring your focus to your shoulder. Let's try out what I talked about earlier. Now, I don't know about you, but I feel a lot in the outer part of my left shoulder all the way to my back, my trapezius and all. All right? I also feel it, yes, in my trapezius somehow. So, think about breathing. You can close your eyes if you like. I like to do that. So, I can turn the awareness inwards a little bit more. Breathing into that area. 
to the back of the left shoulder. It's like you're trying to nurse that area, sending in fresh, fresh oxygen. At the same time, now think about creating space. We talk a little about creating space. What does that even mean, right? So breathing to the body to create space, that means to expand that part of the body. So see you can work towards that breathing into the left shoulder or maybe the right. Noticing the part of tension. Breathing to it instead of resisting it. Now allow it to be there. Notice what your mind is thinking right now. Notice whether there's any discomfort. Now embrace that discomfort. Allow it to be. If there's any pain, allow that pain to be there. Instead of resisting it, soften into it. So once you create a space, allow that to be work towards accepting it. You have already worked halfway through that. Once you have created a space, you found the acceptance or maybe partial acceptance, the part of it. Then think about just allowing time to heal it. Healing means the pain slowly dissipate. As I talk more, I think time has passed. Stay in your pose, I'm gonna release because I'm going to check the time. One last minute to go. Notice how the shoulders, that tension has slowly eased. The shoulders start to open up. It's amazing, right? Like I said, time is natural healer. And I guess in mathematical terms, we call it regression to the mean. The same, the same thing applies to life. Everything will just soften. It won't be as intense as it used to. Let's think about how this means, what this means to your life right now. I can relate to a lot of my personal experience. What about you? Uh, last 10. Slowly release, that means release your bind. If you are binding, straighten the left hand up first. Now, unwrap the right hand first. So slide it to the lower back, towards your bum. Release the right hand out to the side. Press the palm, slowly lift up slightly, then walk the left hand forward. Wow, start to feel the shoulders. Now, coming out is very important, especially in the game class, we don't want to hurt the body. Now, push in the palms, get the front a good stretch first. Lift up slightly, hold it here. If you like to, we'll drop the shoulders. Right, left, right, left, go ahead. Look left and right, left and right. Now to the other side. Slowly lower down again. Then stretch right hand out towards the left side. Walk, creep the hands out towards the left a little bit more. Press the palms down. You can walk the left hand forward. Make the right arm parallel to the top of the mat. Then press the chin down the mat. Now if you need to rest your head on something, the chin on something, just place a towel. Keep us, make yourself comfortable. We are working with discomfort, but we want to make ourselves as comfortable as possible, right? So walk the left hand forward. If this is already too much for you, stay here. If this is too intense, you can always reach the right hand for a little bit more. There's no need to bring it parallel to the top of the mat, but that's just a guideline. So that's the way we want working to, to intensify the pose, okay? So that's one option. Another option, we know what to do. Bend the left elbow, bend the left elbow and reach back. Go more closer than up, slide it higher up towards the, between the left shoulder blade. Now, I don't know for you, but it is perfectly normal that you feel different on one side. So for most of us, we might be stronger in one side than the other. Alright, so maybe the left hand cannot slide up between the shoulder blades. It's okay. So work with what you have. Again, come back and think about the intention of this pose. It's to stretch out the shoulders. It's not to grab the fingers. Alright. So, 
if you can go deeper, bend at the right elbow, reach your right fingers back and grab at the left fingers. Once I grab these fingers, I feel oh so much tension. I don't know about you. So again, same thing, let's try it again, closing the eyes. Breathing into the back of the right shoulder. Just allowing the sense of softness to create a space. So you can breathe into it. Again, notice whether there's any discomfort, tightness. Now, sometimes it does not just mean the sensation. Discomfort can be a feeling which is a result from the sensation perhaps. So it can be like the feeling of anxiety, stress, maybe even anger. A lot of times pain brings about frustration, right? Let's see whether it can allow, create space to accept this feeling that you're feeling right now. So it can be physical, it can be emotional. Regardless of what they are, or what it is, work towards softening around it, creating space for it to happen. And as with time, this discomfort kind of dissipate, or maybe alleviate it, right? The pain is kind of elevate a little bit. So if it has already kind of softened, so you can deepen this pose by bringing the fingers closer together if you're interlocking the fingers, pressing the chin down, whatever that is. Again, no forcing. So if you create that amount of tension, such that you can work with it. So the amount of tension is important not to give up, but at the same time, you're still stretching something. Okay, stay in your pose. I'm just, for me, I'm releasing because I need to check the time. Okay, last 30 seconds to go. Stretching the left hand back first, straighten the right hand, walk the left hand forward, press softly to the palms, lift up. Stretch out the front again, look left, right, left, right. Now, because of time, we're going to stop here today. So, if you like your Shavasana to soften everything, you can turn around, lie on your back, closing your eyes, and just lie back to your Shavasana. If you like to just counter stretch a little bit, again, interlace the fingers, pull it back, rock side to side, side to side, all right? So do what you need to, to counter stretch or for your final Shavasana, and I'm just coming up to you to check on you again. All right, thank you so much for joining me. If you'd like to mute the chat, you can go ahead, you can continue Shavasana. <laughs> your plank shoulder, <laughs> thanks JV, good job. I only have about 50, 50 seconds remaining. Thanks, Denise. Nice that you joined you join me today. Thank you, Maduka. Thanks, Gus. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, so much for joining me. Namaste, namaste. Okay. Um, if you still feel that the yin yang is not enough, join Arun, 10.30 on Zoom. He's doing yin yang as well. Okay. All right. Um, I'll still be keeping this class, and then I'll see if you feel a stronger practice and like that. If you'd like to join my vinyasa class Saturday, it's the same, but the timing is different. Just know that it's three p.m. Thank you, everyone, for joining me today. Thanks, Fong. Thanks, Kingling. Thanks, Masako. I only have ten seconds remaining. Have a happy Monday, and remember taking the intention, following the breath, stepping off the mat. See you again. Bye.